everyone. So today we're at Lowe's. We're going to check out and see if they have any plant sales. Um, I'm not holding out a lot of hope. It's been really slim pickings this year, but I haven't been here for a long time. So we'll see how this goes. So let's check out their greenhouse. So I'm going to walk down up and down the aisles and show you what they have here. And we'll start with the first aisle here. And this is all house plants, but you could use them in pots on your deck or on your patio or balcony even. They would work great. So you can see these are four inch foliage plants. There's some ferns in here and a variety. It's kind of slim pickings. We have snake plants here. They look okay. And I'm just going to scoot around here so you can see that they're starting to put their pots on sale too. So if you're looking for some pots, there's a few that are on sale. Some of the bigger ones are like this one for 179. It's not showing up that great on camera, but that is the price of it. So that is good to see. Everybody needs a deal now and then. We have more house plants down this aisle here. So a lot of house plants right now, you guys. We're gonna get into whatever's left for perennials and, and foliage soon. Um, cedars here, they're still full price, $32.99. These are more than upright use. And then we have our junipers, buffalo junipers here. We have sea green junipers. And little buffalo junipers. Woodwardy cedars down here. And these are zone three. These are really nice, They're nice and soft. They look pretty healthy. We have our dwarf Alberta spruces. They are not on sale, but they look good. And then we have boxwoods here that are no good for our climate. They are zone five. That's the green velvet. We have emerald and gold eumonimus. Eunonymous. Over here we have the emerald gaiety. Our sale rack is right over here. Not sure there's anything here. We have um, some little combines here for four bucks. They're really little. And a bunch of other stuff like sedums that are pretty much dead. House plants here, aloe veras or aloe veras. The odd geranium in here. These are rhododendrons. They will not survive our winters. Same with the azaleas here. Um, they're on sale. You could plant them in a pot or in your garden and take them in for the winter if you're in a cold climate. If you're in a warm climate, this is the time to get them, like the Milky Way here. We have ribbon grass here for $5. And here's something that I always gravitate toward, and this is clematis. Now, I don't know which one this is. Dr. Ruppel. So these are big containers. They're very nice at $5. Here's one that's got a picture of the Rouge Cardinal. I planted this one last year I got here. Um, hasn't done much the first year, but I'm expecting good things by year three. I suspect this is Ruppel. Nope, this is Nellie Moser. Then we have the Vagabond. And then this looks like a hydrangea to me. That needs some love. Try to take it out of the container so I can see exactly what it is. 
I hope. Geez, that's a slippery container. It's a no-name hydrangea. Hard to say what you're getting with that and no price, so it's free. That's my theory. And then we have more rhododendrons, more Milky Ways. They're all pretty much the same in here. Over here, we have more shrubs. And these are the orange potentillas or red joker potentillas. They're still full price, not on sale. And this is where we're gonna get into what's left of the perennials where we might get a buy. I'm gonna skip the boxwoods over here because I can't grow them. So we have Cranesbill, Cranesbill here. You can see if we look around here, things are getting pretty picked over. It seems early this year. Spotted geraniums. This would be a salvia. Blue-eyed grass right here. Moody blues. Zone four. And that's really it for that. More cedars, not on sale. It's a very hot day and I'm in pants. I didn't want to burn. All right, so we have Rocket Liguaria. These are not marked down. Over here, we have two gallon perennials that are on for $11.99, even though they're marked $15.99. And these are gonna be your hookras. These are zone five to nines. So if you put these in your garden, any of these hookras that are five to nines, you wanna make sure you protect them for the winter. We have more geraniums in here and a hosta. We have some yarrow, and this is vintage rose. More salvias. Actually, this is garden sage, so I am wrong. And this is zone three, so that would do well in the garden. And the leaves should smell. Nope, they don't. Surprised. Now we have salvias. Ornamental onions in here. Nepta. Down here, Walker's Low Cat Mint. This looks like Russian Sage. Yeah, Rocket Man, Russian Sage. Zone four, so I could push it with that. More onions. Um, here is a whole bunch of clematis. These are on for $12.50, and you're seeing a lot of passion fruits in here actually instead of clematis. Yeah, these are more passion fruits. These are not clematis. $12.50. I see more clearance here. Black Eyed Susans for $11.99. Salvias, I'm just gonna walk through here. See the odd Hostin, that's, these ones are all $11.99. These are the big gallons containers, so these are quite large. Here is Clematis. I don't see any markdown prices on it, so I have no clue what they're asking for it. There's no label here, and hops. I see a lot of people growing hops. Why must, why, why must you let everything to do? <laughs> now that we're in the sun, I put my shades on. All right, hydrangeas and dogwoods. We have a buffalo yellow dogwood here. 
I did plant one of these at the back of the yard. And what do we have here? Darts Gold Nine Bark. That's a nice one. Loving that. Look at the color on the leaves. These would be other Nine Barks here. We have a Magic Gold Forensia. That's a really nice plant if you're looking for some flowers in a golden yellow for the spring. Rob's having a look to see what else is around here. A lot of shelves are bare. I don't think I've ever seen it like this, you guys. Not to this extreme. And we have Chippewa blueberries. They look good. Here are hydrangeas right here and nine barks. We have Annabelle right here for 24. Yep. This is red barren nine bark. It is gorgeous. Look how dark that foliage is. No roses. Lots of strawberries. The everbearing. These are all everbearing. More smaller containers of blueberries. These are the Patriots. Some little strawberries. I'm not sure what this is for $10. Oh, it's a tea rose. Wow. Well, it's been pruned hard. So these are the roses here, what they have left. So these are pavement roses, purple pavement rose. Zone three, and they're on for $12.50. Not bad. They look good. These are nice because they're not too thorny, but as they age, they will get really, really thorny. And other than a couple more roses on the other side and a climbing rose, we're going to check that out. That's it for roses. So really picked over. That explains why the gates are closed. They don't have the gates open to the greenhouse directly. You have to go through the store. All right. Let's see what we got here for a climbing rose. William Baffin. Zone 4 see what he's priced at he is free and another hybrid tea that looks like it's reduced and another tree rose and this is her sorry shrub rose Hannah so Hannah's get really big they're hardy zone three they're gonna get four to six feet high and um, they're really pretty they're more of a ruffled multi petal rose and they're very nice and they're hardy. All right, and the last thing we're gonna look at here is to see what they got for trees. Just so we cover everything. So they have the blue star junipers here. They're 109. I don't see any sale prices. We have full blown lilacs here. These are these have all been pruned up, which is really, really nice. Actually, I lied. They're pears. Ursuline Ursian pears. I think they're all pears. Yep. Let's see if they are at the back here. And we have an autumn blaze maple which is zone four but these are so pretty i love the leaves on these with the red stems they're gorgeous and these are basically 110 dollars so that's it that's all they have here at lowe's you know maybe i should have came sooner i don't know but it's slim pickings home depot still has the best supply of plants at this time of year so anything i need i guess i'll be going there so Thanks for watching you guys. I thought I'd give you an update and I just want to let you know too. One thing I did notice this year with Lowe's is they did not carry proven winners at all here in Canada. 
in my province anyhow. So that was a bit of a disappointment because I had come here looking for proven winter plants, particular colors, and they didn't have any. So I just had to let you guys know that because I see some channels saying, oh, Lowe's has proven winters. Well, not here in Canada. If this Lowe's doesn't have it, most likely the rest didn't. But let me know in the comments if you're from Canada and you have seen proven winners at Lowe's in your area. Because there was none here this year at mine. And I might have missed this area here. And this is the Rosa Sharon. And these are zone fives. Okay, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And just let you know the season is going by and it seems like to me that the stores are carrying much less this year.